Welcome back to Customer Tech Talks. I'm your host, Ben Walters, and today I'm speaking with Morgan Stanley, who used WebView 2 to bring Windows and HTML apps together to create a unified app experience for their employees. But before we jump into the interview, let's take a look at the video. Morgan Stanley is a global financial services institution. We help individuals, families, governments, and institutions raise, manage, and distribute the capital that they need to achieve their goals. Everything that we do in some way relies on technology, whether it's the way we relate to our clients and interact with them, all the way down to connecting them to the most powerful markets in the world. The tools that they have, the tools that our employees use, it's all based on technology to get the job done. Microsoft products are important to us, from the tools we use on our desktop, to the way we develop software, to the way we deploy stuff in the cloud. I'm joined by Dove Katz, Managing Director and Distinguished Engineer at Morgan Stanley. Dove, thanks for taking the time today. Ben, thanks for having me on. Now, looking at that video, it seems like screen real estate is at a premium for your employees. Can you share why unifying the platform is so important to your industry? Sure, Ben. So many of our employees have between two and six monitors on their desk. We have multiple lines of business that are being combined to provide the best service for our clients. And that often means they're using multiple applications together, whatever the, the problem that you need to solve. And those applications may be written in different technologies. Some are web-based, some are native desktop applications. The way we lay those things out has a direct impact on the client outcome. The more productive our employees are, the better off the clients. So how we lay them out, how we arrange them, every pixel matters. And doing that over multiple screens on someone's desk is pretty crucial. Now, um, you used WebView 2 to bring these applications together. Can you step us through how you approach this and, and how you actually manage to, to get all these apps to work together? Sure. So we started off with a thick desktop application, a shell in WPF, and we did sort of flexible workspaces with that. Over time, as more applications started to adopt HTML, we decided to embed Chromium containers inside of that shell so that we had pieces of the layout that would work with web technology. That was okay, but we really wanted some of those more native experiences, such as pull downs that spill out of the web browser space, events that go back and forth, floating windows, uh, process isolation to manage the memory footprint. Those things required a bit of extra work and we were able to achieve it pretty well. However, there was one shortcoming, which was we had to package the entire Chromium browser in its current version on every desktop release. And we didn't feel that that was sustainable. We felt that with Microsoft's introduction of WebView 2, we finally had the ability to produce a more robust and future-friendly version of this application framework that allowed for us to be green, evergreen and map against the versions of the browser on the desktop. We were able to avoid some of that security risk of packaging with local browsers, and we were able to do a way better job in native integrations such that we didn't have this inequality where there was always a host technology and a guest technology. So having application developers coming at it from a JavaScript first priority and other application developers coming at a .NET first priority and them being able to work together in the framework really allowed our developers to be productive, which ultimately gave the best result for our clients. Now, this created a really flexible environment that can be used across the organization, no matter the role an employee is filling. But that's really just part of the problem. It's more complex than just an app version of an iframe. Can you share some of the challenges you faced in bringing these applications together? Yeah, so we have rich WPF UIs, and those are fine to work together, you know, money-making applications, but the interactions that they have with HTML, it was a very low fidelity, you know, do a little bit of a JavaScript hook here and there, but that wasn't really adequate for a employee to really feel like they're getting the best experience. Ultimately, the goal was, and we achieved this, that there is this indistinguishable user interface. It's just kind of all feels like one look and feel. And so, that involved things like drop-down menus spilling out of their browser, which ultimately meant you needed to manage pop-ups and frameless windows to display things the way you'd expect it to work and the way it works with native windows. But this required a lot of extra work and native integrations. Those are the kinds of things we dealt with. Uh, memory footprint of the browser was a similar challenge. And for there, we had to do some aggressive process isolation. Really having access to the WebView 2 meant there was a lot of less brittle approaches to this that, that really you know, ultimately gave us a much better feeling that this is a very good future direction for our applications and we're not worried about the long-term viability. We have very 
very good applications written in both technologies, and we shouldn't be choosing what's best for the client based on the technology stack pieces of their functionality are written in. It's really great to see that you've brought all that together and, and all while also not violating or alienating any of your developers and the languages they're working in. Now, as you look back at some of the lessons you've learned throughout this process, what's something you can share with the viewers who are looking to take a similar approach for their own applications? So Ben, like I already mentioned, the first thing I'd say is we thought the whole world was moving to HTML. That's not happening. There is going to be this duality of multiple technologies. And so having a first class ecosystem of components is really important. The other thing I'd say with this is that we really realize now that we're not alone in this problem. And these are exactly the kinds of problems that don't differentiate financial institutions. It's the components inside these frameworks that do. These need to be worked on together as a community. This is the kind of stuff we would be developing in an open source first attitude. And that's what we're doing with, with the uh, framework that we're building now. And, and that's something we enjoy, uh, the ability to work with our peers. There are great institutions, uh, uh, one, one of the organizations, you know, FinTech Open Source Foundation, for example, that we're all able to work together with peers on problems that aren't necessarily a source of competitive advantage. I'd encourage more people to be looking at solving these kinds of common problems together as an industry group rather than doing them on their own, because the more people we spoke to, the more we found everyone was ultimately struggling with the same problem. Some really great lessons there and also some great advice for others who are looking to take a similar approach. Thank you so much for joining us on Customer Tech Talks. If you want to learn more about WebView 2, you can check the links on screen now and you can also check out some of the work that Morgan Stanley's been doing with some of this technology as well. Thanks again for joining us and we'll see you next time.